Hey guys, uh, so here it is the uh, reveal video for the 24th scale Fujimi Ferrari F40 LM, or at least their <laughs> Fujimi's interpretation of what that car should be. Um, finally done, put all the finishing touches on it. It, uh, yeah. Not the best kit I've ever worked on. <laughs> it is not. It isn't a piece of crap. It's not a. It's not a stinking piece of crap. That's reserved for the, the uh, that Camaro, <coughs> that Camaro, that Ravel, uh, Trans Am Camaro that I was attempting to build. That thing's a stinking piece of crap. This car is just not, not what I was hoping it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't accurate to the actual car. Um, it, it just isn't accurate to the actual car at all. Uh, the rear wing is accurate, but that's about it. Um, the hood, the front, the the hood vent itself, right, that you see right there, that's not accurate. The rest of the hood isn't accurate. There's supposed to be an air duct right behind the Ferrari logo. Or the emblem, the, the, the emblem rather. Um, yeah, it's just you know, I, I mean, it, you know, it it came out all right. It's not perfect. Um, there's some bugs in the paint here and there. Uh, it was painted using Vallejo Ferrari red, um, and then glossed over with Alclad's Aqua Gloss. Um, I think I did a about four different coats, four separate co coats of the aqua gloss, and it you know it could be shinier, it could be it could be better. The, the finish isn't perfect on it. Um, things I would do differently: number one, not build this kit. Ha ha ha. Uh, um, the so if you see the tail lights, you can see the uh, reverse indicator lights. If I was to do it again. Um, I would do that in a more translucent white and not just regular white white they don't they don't in my opinion they don't look quite right um, it's just too stark of a white so I would probably use a much thinner uh, white to paint those uh, reverse indicator lights um, you can kind of see the engine that I've spent some the half engine that's there that I spent time detailing out and then you put the glass in and the glass covers everything up and you just, everything's obscured you can't see any of it um, the glass didn't the window glass doesn't fit right um, there's a gap I don't remember where there's a gap some on one of these windows there's a little bit of a gap I think it's this one yeah, so this one, this rear, it sits down a little too low. You can't tell unless you're looking, unless you get it at the right angle. Anyway, um, yeah, so the glass doesn't fit quite right. Um, the headlight lens covers, I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, I had to, this camera, this phone camera stinks. It's just blurry all the time now. Um, I had to reshape the outer edges of this one completely because it just did not fit into the opening at all. So I basically had to sand and reshape that whole thing. I had to do a slight bit for this one uh, to, to get it in. It wasn't as much work as, as the other one. And then even after getting it in, it's just misshapen. So the curve on it isn't correct and this very this little bit of a corner here this camera just can eat my ass um can piss me off anyway wow this thing's pissing me off okay so there it went um this corner of this lens is just misshapen and does not actually f sit down flat like the rest of it so um you know that's not great um 
the antenna, the radio antenna that you see there on top of the car, that I just made out of stretched sprue. Um, again, I think I mentioned in one of the other updates, um, they give you photo etch for that, which is flat and two-dimensional and would look absolutely stupid if you put it on. So, made my own, just did some stretch sprue, painted it black. Um, took my pin vise, drilled out the, the little hole there and set it in there and it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, all in all, not the best kit I've ever worked on. Uh, it is, again, it's not a terrible kit, it's just, it was, I was disappointed in the inaccuracies to the real car and, you know, it, it was just a, I don't know, Fujimi can do better. I, I know they're capable of better than, than this. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Um, again, it, it came out okay. It's not the best. I, I'm not thrilled with it. And you can see the little photo etch fuel fillers there. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's okay. It's a lot fiddlier than it should be. Um, the rear wing was really fiddly. Uh, again, getting the wing put together and then it all basically sits on that, this vertical piece here, this piece of photo etch, and it was just a pain to get right. Um, but yeah, there it is. It's done. I'm happy with it. I'm going to put it in a case and give it to my buddy at work on Monday. Um, so yeah, you know, if anybody would like to trade for the other one that I have, this one's got all the race car decals on it, uh, with it rather. I just, I, you know, it's a, not a terrible kit, it's just not a great kit. Um, yeah, I don't know, this, it just, here's the other one, I will not build this kit again. Did it once, don't need to build two of them. So, yeah. If anybody has a good trade for this, let me know. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's done. Like I said, it's going to get epoxied into a base this weekend. And that'll be that. One small purchase that I have made, or that has shown up, is I picked up the uh, Bandai A-Wing. Because, yeah, that's, that's freaking awesome. So... Um, yeah, that's, that's great. And they're apparently doing a tie interceptor. I'm going to have to get one of those because the tie interceptors are awesome. And I just saw something this weekend that they're doing a 72nd scale Millennium Falcon, which the one that's out now is one, one forty fourth scale, I believe. So, uh, I'm probably going to have to get the 72nd scale Millennium Falcon because that'll be freaking yeah, that's just going to be sweet. Um, so yeah, there's there's my final reveal on this car. 